What's up guys, Marlon back here with another news video and this time we want to talk about the hate and the truckload of salt on Astral Chain user review on Metacritic. Now, of course, the positive user score review on Astral Chain is at 1,411 as we speak. And of course, there's 18 on the mix review and negative, oh my God, it's almost at 1,009 on the negativity on this game. And are people crazy? Like literally, this game is amazing. This is one of Platinum Games' best work yet, in my opinion. And, you know, it's real sad because a lot of this hate is from fanboys. And I'm going to get into the latter part of the video here where I explain the whole fanboy thing that's going on with this game because a lot of people really want this on other platforms and it's no it's exclusive only to the nintendo switch so we're going to talk more briefly on that but just to kind of dig into the negativity here it's people saying that it's a bad game even for platinum game standard are you kidding me and saying that the game is a disaster are you guys playing the same game that everybody else is playing i just don't understand but for the most part, it's just 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. I mean, the game is easily a 9.5 or a 10 at the most. I mean, no game is perfect, but it's just like people saying it's a 2 out of 10, it's a 1, it's not worth it. I just don't know what's wrong with people. Like, people just don't know what quality games are. You make a good game, you put it out there, you put your heart and soul into it, and people want to complain. And it's like, whatever you do in life, you just cannot please people. And it's like, really? This game was shaping up to be excellent when they showed the trailers, when they showed gameplay of it during E3 and everything. I was blown away. I was like, oh my God, Astral Chain is going to be one of Nintendo's biggest upcoming you know titles and whatnot that a lot of people can actually sink their teeth in it's going to sell very well and they can turn it into a series and i'm just like okay well what is the problem here you know why so much hate i mean this is not like duke nukem forever that actually took what 10 years to develop and then when it actually came out it was just horrible you know this is a really well flushed out triple a game in my opinion very polished the characters are really awesome the combat everything just pops in my opinion it reminds me of so many different games put together from platinum games so i don't understand where the truckload of hate and salt is coming from but astral chain right now on metacritic have a insane amount of negative uh, user created scores there and it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous so leave your thoughts down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about astral chain did you pick it up you know did you rent it whatever make sure you play this game man this is one of the reasons to pick up a nintendo switch so leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think all right guys let's move on to the next part of the news video here so this is astral chain related so Hideki uh kamiya responds to player who demand astral chain for playstation 4 and again with the blasphemy on metacritic right now for astral chain it's just ludicrous to me i don't understand why people are hating on this game this is a very good game so someone tweeted at the director of course Hideki kamiya himself and this is what he said the person asked him why wasn't astral chain released for ps4 do you hate playstation well first of all i'm going to answer that question why would he hate playstation it's obviously an exclusive game to the nintendo switch so that's a dumb question to ask this is what Hideki have to say why would be great to have mario zelda and metroid on ps4 too but as for do i hate playstation i'm just a developer fulfilling a contract obligations so i don't know maybe you can try asking my publisher and investor nintendo so that's just ridiculous this man don't need to obviously answer that question at all i mean it's very apparent to me that this game is exclusive 
to the Nintendo Switch. Just like God of War is exclusive to PlayStation, I don't expect it to come to the Switch. I don't expect it to come to, you know, the Xbox One or any other platform for that matter, unless they lose the exclusives right with Sony and Santa Monica or Santa Monica is just like, look, man, we, we're not going to put this out on PlayStation anymore. We're going to put this out on whatever platform because there's no exclusive rights here. So that is literally a dumb thing to ask if you ask me. I mean, come on now. That's just common sense. But of course, the hate is real on Astral Chain for no reason. And I think this game is going to do very well. And I expect a sequel for Astral Chain. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. All right, guys, let's get to the ending part of the news video here. So PS5 could be joined by another new PlayStation console. So this is a rumor. So take this with a grain of salt. And this is no surprise. I mean, a lot of companies, whenever they're coming out with new consoles, normally come out with another one. But they're saying that there could be two consoles launching at the same time. So one could be a regular traditional console and the other one is going to be a cloud based system so this is going to be possibly just streaming playstation 5 games maybe or streaming ps4 or ps3 ps1 or ps2 games because we're hearing that it's going to be fully backwards compatible and so sony pretty much filed a patent on august the 29th at the united states patent office so a lot of times when companies patent things normally it leads to something and you know this is going to be interesting because we know cloud gaming is pretty much the future microsoft already went up on stage talked about cloud gaming and pretty much kind of push forward with that whole idea that that's going to be the future digital is the future and whatnot but as it sits right now everybody likes to have their physical copy of their game so i can see this kind of doing well on the market i mean whoever have the blazing fast internet that can handle cloud gaming i think they will be able to pick this up and the person that just wants just a traditional home console i think it would just be great like you know you just buy your game cds put it in play it whatever what have you but cloud gaming is pretty much the future a lot of companies like nintendo and of course sony is already gearing up now and microsoft as well so all the big three companies are pushing towards that direction so what do you guys think about a cloud gaming uh, playstation 5 system coming out alongside the traditional one leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below and all right guys that ends off today's news video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys subscribe hit the bell hit that like button and share it around and peace switch gang joy con boys forever we out of here